Hey, hey, queens and kings, welcome back and welcome to another video. But you guys know this portion of the video is in a collaboration with U.S. Bags. So as you all see, we have our LV here. So we're going to go ahead and take her out of the plastic and everything that she came in. Pretty much this is how it came, but that's okay. That is a-okay. So we have a dust bag. That's a good thing about it. We do have a dust bag. So we're going to see how she looks. Okay, y'all, so she did come with some papers. She did come with some papers, so I don't just tuck everything on out of the bag. You see, I was struggling. But she did come with some papers, so we are legit. Okay. So, of course, the dust bag. And look at this gorgeousness here. Look at it. Okay, so this is pretty much how you unbuckle her. Now, I did thought this was black, but it's actually blue, as you all can see, a navy blue. It's still gorgeous, though. I still like it, but it's actually throw me off from what I was actually going to do, use this bag for. But that's okay. I'll figure it out. You guys already know I do. So this is pretty much the way how I buckle. You put it in there, and you push up and slide on it. But I'm not going to do it right now because I got only one hand I'm using. So we do have a pocket here. We have one pocket here. Now we open this up, you see the inside is navy blue as well, which it is very gorgeous. Now this blue is pretty, honey, it's bad. So we do have another pocket. We have a slot here where you put like whatever bills or call your phone or whatever. Then this one here, we have the chain pocket as well, like a zipper. Here we got some more papers in there. Some more papers, okay, all right. But yeah, so you see this part zip up zips up like that and then we have this part too as well so it actually have different um compartments that you can put different things in so it's very spacious as you all can see in this bag here we have the louis logo inside of it so babe we are seriously legit as well as here on the front part of it but what i do like about this bag here let's turn her around this chain baby i am in love the way how this chain is on this bag it's very gorgeous here i, I could see a necklace that's that chain step but yeah so this is how she looks this is the bottom so she stands up free stands by herself and everything very gorgeous gorgeous bag so you as bags you all did your thing with this one here baby this is a gorgeous bag so queens and kings i will leave all the links and everything down below if you guys are into as are into bags like this if you are don't forget to click the link the website and everything because you know on their website they have numerous numbers of bags like honey you can't go around around you can't go wrong with searching for a bag so i'm quite sure if you go look on their website you'll find a bag that you're looking for in the all affordable prices all are affordable prices so yeah queens of keys so check them out shout out to you as bag once again i love the bag and i appreciate you guys for actually collaborating with me so let's move on to the next portion of this video look at that that bag is pretty we call that blue on the inside out this is gorgeous this suedeness of it I like this i really do like this i like this so one compartment two compartments three four four compartments in this bag but yes you guys get a point hey, look at that lv initials engraved on the fur stop playing with it cute little buckle these are bad of course they ain't got none in my size but these are bad honey no, these are sold out fast. Little girl. No, those sold out fast. Hey, y'all, so I just got off work, and I came to go to Audi's for something, but they didn't have what I'm looking for. But I don't stop to the store called Shoe Land, where pretty much is Shoe Land. A lot of shoes is here. They sell them for affordable prices. Um, you can pretty much find any shoe that you're looking for for your size though, but um, They don't have too many like for my big feet y'all know I wear a size 11 in women's shoes So I pretty much have to catch them when they actually stock up But you see the shoes that I showed you back there Ain't none of my size 
I ain't get lucky for one. But they got a lot of affordable shoes in here though. Ooh, child. I bet I went crazy in this store. I used to come years ago, but I haven't been in so long. I actually forgot they had these type of stores here. Pumps. Like they, they have whatever you're looking for, child. It's just all about finding your size. Well, look at this. I ordered these shoes from Amazon and they have them in here. Wow. I have some of these. And then the company sent me a pair of these. They got them from here for $24.99. They got them in different colors too. It is too cute. It is really pretty. I got it in silver too. They have a lot of cute little bags and stuff. Shoes too. Okay, look at the Crocs. Already be dazzled. Okay, Balenci, who knock off? But you don't see the tote bag. I got some cute stuff in here though. Not bad. Well, look at these. These are cute. <laughs> these are cute. Yeah, so I came to Hobby Lobby right here to get some fabric paper. Hobby Lobby got Christmas out. They got Thanksgiving out. I don't think I've seen Halloween. But well, baby, they are ready. 50% off. What color y'all doing this year? I don't even know what color we doing this year. Should we do a raw your blue? This raw your blue is pretty though. Mm hmm makes me wonder. Charm has to get up out there. I did not come in here for this. Girl. Look at all this pretty stuff. Look at everything. to get up out this stuff. I came in here just for some god dog on thing of a G. Oh look, 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 look. Please look. Look, look how sight hang. You hear my feet click clacking. Look. Oh my goodness. Oh look at that. I'm like a kid in the candy store for real. Look at it. So cute. Oh my goodness. Y'all can make these though if you got time. This be the time that you start doing it too if you want to do some everything. But girl, let me get up out of here. Let's go down here to the other stuff. Oh, look at the gingerbread. Oh my goodness. Oh snap. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, this is so cute. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. Look. It's so pretty. Everything is so pretty. Oh my God, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. I gotta go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everything looks so pretty. Look at that nutcrackers. Oh my God, I gotta go. I got to go. Let me look at the follow stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at the season just change. Oh my God. You gotta love it. I didn't see Halloween yet. Oh, look at the buckets. Oh my God, look at them. They are so pretty. The shade is pretty. This orange here made me want to decorate for Halloween now, y'all. Yeah, I know I love some Halloween. I don't care what you say. I love Halloween. Let me, let me go. I know I'm going too fast, y'all, because I didn't come in here for this. Oh my God, let me go find what I'm looking for.
Hey Queens and Kings, so I want to give you guys um, a haul of some stuff that I wasn't picking up today. Listen, I got to do better. I really do have to do better. Because I don't spend all my little spending money that post a scratch to the next pay period. Girl, I got to do something with myself. That don't make no sense. I don't feel off somewhere. Because, okay, honey, my eyes were bigger than my pocket. <laughs> so, guess I'll start with Target. I picked up it's just random stuff. Most of the stuff are things that I needed for the house for the clean up. And then I saw other stuff. It was like, I need that. And I need to go to this store. I need to go to that store. And I just went to pick it and pick it and pick it. <sighs> no, I ain't got no damn money. So I picked up two of these here. Um, I picked these up because these actually work for the dark spots in my face and stuff. They've been clearing my face up really good, but now I notice that like the dark spots up under my neck and stuff. So I need to start carrying it down and things like that because I have this dark spot up under here, like where I had surgery, had abscess years ago. So those are what those little marks is for when they had to drain and stuff. Girl, that's a whole lot. That's a whole lot. But these are just $11 at Target. I can't find nowhere else but Target as of right now. I'm probably sure that they have like other like beauty stores and stuff that sell, you know, self-care stuff or whatever, like Ulta and all that stuff there. But I also picked up this necklace. Look how cute she is. Look, I just like the thickness of it. If y'all ain't never got jewelry from Target, get it. Because this doesn't last longer. This was $21, $22 though. I think it was worth it because you can find a change probably on Amazon or some of these little stores and stuff for that price. And it's heavy too. Like it's, it got weight to it. I think it was super cute. It's like this little heart. I don't know. Is this a pocket? I ain't bother to look at it opening or nothing, but I just thought it was so cute. Look at that. Got a cute little rhinestones or whatever there, this heart. But the thickness of this necklace is what caught my attention. So it's worth it. Hobby Lobby too. Hobby Lobby, I just picked up some fabric because uh, I want to do a DIY that I seen TikTok do. Y'all might know what I'm talking about. And some Mod Podge. So this is mostly for my DIY channel. All I picked up from there because I almost got caught up in there too because... <sighs> Did y'all see it? Did y'all pay attention? What y'all looking at? Look at it. What y'all looking? All the Christmas stuff is out. I know they did not have Halloween, and I think that's because they not open on a Sunday. And they like this um, Christian story, if I'm not mistaken, because I heard it a while back. So I don't know. Maybe that could be the reason why. But I love Halloween. But they had Christmas and Thanksgiving stuff out, as you all see. You see, I, I was getting caught up in the hype because, baby, I got excited from the stuff that I saw up in there. So, I'm going to tell you Hobby Lobby's because they got stuff 50% off right now. So, <clears throat> I'm just telling you, you have been warned. The other store I went to was Five and Below. So, you guys know I'm trying to get into working out. So, I picked up me a weight in there. So, a, well, a kettlebell. I picked up, and this is just eight pounds. It was like five. $5.95 what they have on here. So, they said I don't be want to be in the gym. I feel like I could do it here at the house. And so, yeah. Okay, so now I'm about to jump into what the stuff that I went out there for, actually. So, I went to Dollar Tree and I racked up on some stuff from Dollar Tree that I needed to get. So, I got these little uh, wet sweeper cloth refillers. Two of these Mr. Cleaners. Two of these. These smell so good. These um, fabric softeners. The liquid too. Usually like, I get like the big baller from Walmart, but I didn't go to Walmart. So I just picked up two of these. Picked up two carpet fresheners. Two things of uh, toothpaste. On my receipt. You gotta keep a receipt. If y'all don't know, I do have like a fetch reward um receipt. Um thingamajig <laughs> i will leave it down below you know so if you sign up for it or what it's free it's, it's it's totally free 
it just basically give you points to the points that's add up into gift cards where you can use them to different amounts of stores. So anytime you get a receipt, you just scan it and it accumulate points. And some of the points be double depending on what they have a special, like a sale, not a sale or like a, a promotion going on, whatever item you get, like say that they have a promotion going on these right here and you may get an extra hundred points for them or whatever. So they add up to the point that you can use them to any store that you want to use them to Walmart, Target, beauty stores clothing store grocery stores they all adds up so if you check the link down below click on it sign up for it it is free yeah i think you at this point you probably get a thousand points because you sign up with my code so i will leave it down below and i'll put it on the screen so just in case it called fetch ward fetch fetch rewards fetch like like the dolls or whatever and you know baby you can scan any receipt and it give you points in a receipt you, you can do receipts online because i do my walmart receipts and i get a whole lot of points from there so it just a, something to help out if you're trying to find ways to save pretty much so do it okay okay so also i, I bought the dry cleaning pad refill it too from the dollar tree or some cotton rounds panel liners y'all ain't no dollar trees that panel liners is <laughs> q q swab cotton swabs yep. deodorant i picked up two of these Honestly, it's best to get these from the dollar, not the Dollar Tree, but Walmart. I think they like a dollar and five now at Walmart or probably still 98 cents. Something like that though, but, but I didn't go to Walmart, so I just picked them up from the Dollar Tree. And that means I spent a dollar and 25 for them though. Girl, everything's just falling. Floss picks. I picked up these paint brushes. That's for to help me with this DIY that I need to do for my other channel. Gone for my car, gone for work. I need another toothbrush. If you don't know, you need to change two brushes out every three months. It's good for that. Roses. Olive oil wands refillers. This is I picked up some sanitizer wipes. These are for the, around the house. I usually get these for work, but I got two of them at work. And so I jumped on the bandwagon with this stuff here. The pink stuff that a lot of people be talk about. They use a lot of stuff at their homes and stuff. So I want to see how good this works because I want to use it good for my um my bathroom. And speaking of bathroom, this is the Miracle Bathroom Foam Cleater Cleaner. So the pink stuff. So I'm going to see how good it's working in the bathroom. And then this one here, like the paste. Okay, we're going to see. Because I need to make sure I clean the tub real good. But that was it, y'all. That was all the stuff that I got. Um, So... So y'all yeah, a little bit lady, y'all can tell that I'm I'm tired. I really am. I'm drained. So now I need to put this stuff up. So. Hey Queens and King. So today we're about to um clean the refrigerator. Because I actually just did a um grocery pickup. So I may just give you guys a little haul of that. I don't know just yet. Um but yeah, we're gonna clean the kitchen, the refrigerator, because it need to be cleaning. I feel like it need to be organized a little bit more or something. I don't know. I ain't about no organization things for the organized. So I'm just using what I got. But yeah, so we about to do that. And it's 536. So I'm going to get on here to get started on it because I got to go pick Andre up pretty soon for aftercare. And then we're going to go there. Okay. All right. All right. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How your mama doing? Your dad all right? <laughs> Tell your dad I said. <laughs> That's if he's single. <laughs> oh, girl. I can't do nothing. I swear. Every time I say, I'm going to do something to find them a stepdaddy, they feel some type of way. See, you be dragging it. That's why. Well, how I be dragging it, Jack? Just something to find your stepdaddy. But you like to drag. Because I'm extra. Well, you need to stop being extra. <laughs> Girl, leave it alone. Leave me alone. Let me get started, y'all. Because she ain't helping out, and then she want me to cook this chicken. Hey, hey, hey. Uh oh. Uh oh. Won't even help. Here you go, bring some bleach. Be your own kids. I just bought all these damn groceries. She don't want to go get me no bleach. She better give me some bleach, but she be doing it. 
Oh, you up now, aren't you? Oh, okay, they long you up, Cletus. Long you up, Thelma. Yeah, you don't like that name? Why do you look like that lady? You do look like Thelma in that video. <laughs> you look like that. You look like Thelma. Okay, so I'm going to take everything out first and then I'm going to wipe it down. Okay. All right, Queens and Kings, so I have cleaned everything out of the refrigerator, as you all will see, the freezer and everything. The only thing I left in there was the ice because I really didn't want it to melt or anything. But the soapy water and bleach that I made in the sink, that's pretty much what I'm going to use to actually clean the refrigerator and everything all out. So, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started because it is a little dirty, but it's not that bad, but still, it's dirty. All right, y'all, I'm back. Uh, I'm hungry. I don't picked up Andre. Um, so... Get him a little snack or two so he go sit down and start getting on my nerves. He just walk through the door. So he say, I'm hungry. But they feed you at school. So that's what I sent you there for. What you want, child? But um, anyways, so y'all see how the refrigerator looking? So I'm gonna wipe that down right quick, and then we're gonna get all this grocery back in there in the new ones too, which I should have gave y'all a haul before I did it. Um, but yeah, I can just tell you what is new, what's not new. It wasn't a whole lot. I promise you, it wasn't a whole lot. Mm -mm. So that's what I'm about to do. So let's go ahead and clean the refrigerator and we can go ahead and get started. So if I can go ahead and cook his fish sticks. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna just do it like this. Um, the stuff that I did buy, but also put the stuff up too. So, so the here. Now, all the meat here that I'm putting back in here is meat that I already had up in here. So that is some ground turkey. This is some pork chops. This is some thin pork chops. This is some cube steak. And this is some breast tenders that I already had up in here. Okay, so I didn't buy more meat. I thought I did because a lot of stuff that I do eat is like turkey stuff. And chicken and Andre don't eat this type of food here. It's just basically me and Jeff. So I don't buy a whole lot when it comes down to this. But I do have some shrimps in here. So this is stuff that they like to eat here. It's fast and go stuff. So chicken fries I did buy. I bought these little pancakes here. We got some more chicken fries in here. Bought these fish sticks. I got pizza rolls. I didn't buy any more of this stuff here because I already have so much of some more pizza rolls. I did buy some more shrimps. These are the cooked shrimps already. 
because I took all both bags the other day when I did the seafood bowl. There's some ice cream squirrels here. They have some fish, fridge, uh, fr French toast sticks, child. Couldn't get that out to save our lives. There. Okay, I may have to put some here. We might as well because this is frozen. I need to put this butter back in here. Right now, so the kitchen, the kitchen, the refrigerator is all clean out, up, honey. So now we better go ahead and start putting the grocery stuff back in here. Okay, let me give you guys a haul of the stuff that I do that I brought. Okay, so anyway, grapes that I'm actually gonna clean off because they go in this container here. So I'm gonna clean these off. Okay, so I bought strawberries too. I'm gonna rinse these out too before I put them in there. Some corn dogs, even though they already have corn dogs. I bought some bacon, some sausage. Y'all know this is for me. Uh, excuse Andre in the background, all that noise. We got sandwich meat. I'm gonna put that in there. Y'all know that whipped cream is old. about cheese, some yogurt, some spinach, milk as well as some regular milk because they already have some whole milk in here but i bought this almond milk for them to take to work honestly uh -huh. i bought juice even though they have a lot of it but I bought them a whole bunch of juice. some vegetable about some lemons about pepper onion this potato oh they go the lemons like what the lemons at in the grapefruit child I don't feel like taking that out of there So I do have like this fruit and vegetable wash that I had. Um, I think I got it from Walmart though. So I do try to spray these down from time to time when I can remember, honestly, when I can remember. And then I just rinse it off.
have two things of eggs because we eat a lot of eggs in this house. So I do have some more eggs left, so we'll probably eat these first before we eat the ones in the container. All right, so this is how the pantry look. So we, um, I bought some more stuff. Um, This the other stuff that I did purchase for to go into the pantry. So I'm gonna do that part off camera, but I'm gonna give you a quick haul of it. Watermelon, the kids, some more ABCs, some honey, some ketchup, some hot sauce some garlic i definitely need some more of that these little breakfast um bakes you guys not like those for work some cinnamon toast crunch i need to put that in the refrigerator i bought some more brown rice for myself um uh, bananas some of these zebra cakes which they already don't went into them already uh, oatmeal pies brownies cantaloupe some fruit snacks rice crispy I did pick up two of these, but I guess they just didn't have no more, so they was the only one that's for Jasmine, though. Some spaghetti sauce. Meat. I would get it, Dre. I told you I would get that paper. Calm down. Some lima beans. Some chicken broth. Some more paste. Some, to, some beans. Some honey buns. Bananas. More chips down under there. They got leftover juice as well as water and some spaghettis and that is that y'all come on Ugh. now read this out loud uh, so you can understand what they're telling you to do add the columns by row and by colors. columns so remember the rows and columns what is a row okay what is a column Okay then, so now row equals so how many rows is it? Two? Two. Erase this here. How many rows is it? How many rows you see? Two. Two rows. So one row plus one row equals what? Two. Exactly. Erase all of that. Erase all of that. Okay. So what it is, slow down. You're doing too much. Mm -hmm. The teacher's not gonna understand that. Okay, so how many columns? Three. Okay, so what would be the math project would be? No, that is wrong. Slow down, how many columns you say it is? And what would be okay? So that's how you do the next one. How many rows is it? Five, oh, three. Three rows. Now, how many columns? Three. Okay. All right. Okay, so you'll do the rest of just like that. Okay. All right, let me finish up, y'all, and I definitely will be back then. I'm tired. I don't put his fish sticks in the oven, too, so he's going to eat that before he kill me, child. He got fish sticks. And I'll be back, okay? So I can go back and check his homework, too.
sorry, y'all. So this is the pantry. It look much better, don't it? Oh, all the extra stuff down there. Let's just see it. Of course, he wants some juice. Okay, so this is the freezer. How it looks. And down here, how it looks. So, yeah, now we all stock back up. We're good for the next week and a half. All right, Queens and Kings, I'm pretty much going to end this video here. I'm about to get ready to cook some um, fried chicken. I already seasoned it. I got the deep fryer going. So, because I supposed to cook this yesterday. I'm tired. I have Andre with his homework. He's done. And it's literally about 8 o'clock. I'm done. I'm tired. Work today. I went to the gym for an hour. Went and picked up grocery, came home to clean the refrigerator in the kitchen. But Jevin did the kitchen part, put it away. Now I'm about to cook. Yep, Andre with homework. I'm done. That was my full day right there. Full day. And I still haven't sat down yet. I'm tired. I'm going to need to go take another shower, a hot shower. A hot, hot shower. I'm over it. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next video, next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you all did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you all in the next one. You queens and kings continue to be royal. And remember, honey, that crown may tilt. But the damn show ain't gonna fall. No matter how tired you are. Okay? Alright, talk to y'all later. Bye.